I finally finished it. My sword. The best sword ever. <sighs> that took forever. Banging a hammer against hot metal day in and day out. It was all for this. It's finally done. Kinta, food's ready. I'll be right there. Can't let anyone see it till it's done. I gotta finish the hilt and scabbard first. Then I'll show it off. Give my gratitude for this meal. Talk about a blustery day. Okay, so I I just saw what um, this cutscene with Kinta, so I decided to like instantly start from there. Seems like something's gonna happen with Kinta's ultimate sword. Because it turned like it had that red-ish kind of evil aura on it, so I wonder what's gonna happen. But at least I finally got my strength back. Yes, it's like a 300 strength boost. Mm. Is that too much water? No, I think that's fine. Okay, so I'm missing one clay before I can, like... Uh... Build the house, because I bought, um, cucumbers. How much that does cucumber? Luck. Lots of luck. Oh. Oh, man, I should actually keep on buying cucumbers and just boost that luck stat up. Okay, seems good. I'm um, just gonna head over to these uh, area to like grab one. I'll be off then. I go now. Uh, I'll be grabbing like one clay, and then I'll be heading over and building the house. Okay, so I'm gonna go to this cavern, which always has clay, I think. Man, grinding the clay took a really long time. Oh, it hasn't come back yet. Great. Um, I need clay, but I went to these ones earlier. They didn't have any clay left. Does that mean I have to wait a day? We think so. Unless I can get Bounteous Earth Grottle. Can I get lucky here? Oh, yep, I did. I got lucky. I got one clay. Nice. Okay, it's time to build the house. Give the designated materials to Talaymon. I don't see Taoimon anywhere because I sent him out. So I guess the only thing I can really do is just kind of wait around. Uh, I wonder if I can get the missing piece from here now. Look, how, when does this even open? I don't understand why this is locked.
Okay, this is great. Now that I got my strength back, I'm hitting so much harder now. Oh, I can get clay here as well. Okay, I'm just kind of waiting for uh, the day to go by because I want to get back to um, building that house before my cucumbers expire, which they will. I still haven't, like, there still hasn't been, like, a refrigeration kind of thing, but I'm, I'm sure it's going to be soon because Kokoroa has been giving, like, a specific update every single time, like, the house was upgraded, I think. So maybe a refrigeration feature is something that is going to be talked about, right? A way to keep foods fresh, and then maybe that way... There's like some use to ice. I've always found it weird that like there's ice, but I still haven't been able to like use it. Like nothing uses ice. Hmm, I didn't see a path for either of those paths. Always good to have a little bit more gold on hand, because gold is really actually is actually pretty good at uh making your soil like harder, I think. Yeah, I don't understand why I can't break that. Like, why is there a seal here? Just blocking a little bit of my stats behind. Kind of annoying. Are they back yet? Come on. No, still not back yet. Should I make something, Goddess? Oh, I can make make this now. Diminish its damage taken from slash attacks by five percent. Uh, this isn't worth it, because I ha the only way for me to get stainless steel is to import it from the cat- uh... Ooh, nice. Medicinal beast. Yeah, only way for me to get it is to import it from the capital, and it costs 100 white rice to do. Oh. What is the matter? Quinta? Hello? Lowly realm to Quinta! Come in! It's gone. What is? The sword. Sword? Do you speak of Tawimon's blade? No, not that one. Then be more specific. We cannot understand you. The sword I made. What? You made a sword? Here? In this pass? Come to think of it, you did mention something like that back when we were getting started. So you were serious? Someone like you wouldn't understand. Fine then. Do as you please. D don't be like that, goddess. What you make up your mind? I see. As a blacksmith, you wish to create a sword to surpass Tawimon's. It is not such an unusual desire to have. So, that's the general idea, hmm? Yeah. Especially for me. At any rate.
secret, a sword that no one knew about cannot simply up and vanish. And what's more, everyone was present and accounted for after supper. Hmm. I can sense a faint force from this shed. Kinta, I have a question, if you'll indulge me. How did you acquire the materials for this sword of yours? I snuck out with the dog and gathered them. Ashigumo lent me a hand, too. That Ashigumo. We've relied on him over much. To think he was doing so much for us all. He is a stalwart ally, to be sure. Man, now I feel really bad. So, you used amber as your material. Yeah, I heard that it's full of divine power, so I just had to use it. You act on just about every stray thought to enter your mind, don't you? Amber does not merely hold divine power. When enough is accumulated, it can form the soul of a divine being. In other words, amber is what gods are born from. If you melted that down and hammered it hundreds of thousands of times to create a sword, then... Could it be? Did I... make a god? Most likely, yes. That is an amazing feat for a human. Well, even supposing he did manage it, the god in question is yet a newborn babe. We must first search the pass for it. What? Tinta the god creator. Well, that's unexpected. Oh, I can press squared or spread fertilizer here? I didn't know that. What? Okay. Uh, I need to start letting... Increasing the... Kernel fertilizers. Okay, let's go crazy with medicinal base, uh, garlic, mushroom, fruit herbs. Okay, good stuff. Looks good to me. Oh, temperature seems low. Yeah, free flowing ir irrigation. Let's go. Okay, where's Tawema? Oh. Uh, no way. Sh should we perhaps ask? Oh, Lady Sakuna and Kinta too. This morning, I discovered that my sword was broken. Behold, it was fractured quite cleanly. It almost looks as if it has been cut. Truly mysterious, wouldn't you say? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's probably my fault. What do you mean? I see. If my father caught wind of this, I would receive the scolding of a lifetime. A mere scolding for breaking a family heirloom? I would think he'd be far angrier than that. Well, I cannot wield a sword anyway. However, no matter how large the gulf between us, my father still terrifies me. I'm real sorry. We'll fix it later so you can use it again. Ho oh, ho! So you've become a skilled blacksmith, have you? Magnificent, Quinta. Quit it, would ya? Uh, oh. Are you blushing? You are! Uh, curse you, Sakuna! What? Shall we have a royal sparring match? Brace yourself, you diminutive delinquent! Cease this at once! So, was this truly the work of Kinta's sword? There is no doubt. 
I sensed the same force in the house as the one that was in the shed. Still, why would it do such a thing? It cut a fellow's sword instead of a human. Kinta, did you have any particular intention in mind when you set out to make it? Power. I wanted it to be strong, sharper than any other sword. Hold on a moment. That sounds like... Yeah, like Ishimaru. I mean, that, really, but... He may be the bandit who kidnapped us, but... I can't help but agree with what he says. There's no good or bad, just strong or weak. And the weak get eaten. I've seen that for myself. Kinta. I started smithing because I wanted power. But don't get me wrong. As I hammered away on the metal during our stay here, I forgot all about that dark stuff. I just... I wanted to put my own mark on it. <laughs> oh, the radiant spark of youth. Can you sound any more like an old man? I believe the magical sword he created absorbed his thoughts and took on a life of its own. And in order to prove itself the ultimate weapon, it broke... Uh, no, it, it cut Toemon's sword. How brazen of it to ignore me, the greatest holy sword in all of Yanato. Is it not because you are already broken? And besides, you are but a hilt. Such insolence. Does that mean it is left in search of more swords to break? The only other laudable swords on the island are Ishimaru's and the Demon's swords. Compared to Pops's play, those are just lumps of metal. You've been to a bunch more places than we have. Can't you think of anything else? Hmm. What do you think, Tama? Let me see. How about this? If it does not show itself, then how about we keep an eye out for it as we travel the island? I strain to believe that plan took much effort. But I suppose it beats sitting idly by. Please find it. I'm begging ya. Good grief. Are you not the one who wailed, It's over! When the house was destroyed? You certainly change your tune quickly. I do believe she has you sussed, young man. Hmm, interesting. A sword that flat runs around the island breaking swords. Oh, more stuff. I'm grateful. Oh, our lives have been made so much easier due to your efforts. Oh, I hardly deserve such thanks. Hmm, why in the world not? If you are all happy, then I am happy. I'm often so eager to help that I get carried away with my tinkering. But now that I am here, the more I watch you every day, I deeply regret all the mis mischief I caused. I can scarcely believe that I sullied the rice you so lovingly raised with all the vile deeds. Oh, is that all? Do not concern yourself over it. What's done is done. The past is the past. And I am partly the brain for forcing your hand in the matter. Yet curiosity compels me to ask, how did you obtain seeds of our revered ears, Kokoroa? At that point, you had not yet come here, yes? Um... Well, uh, correct. A demon snuck into the capital and simply handed them to me as he fanned the flames of my jealousy. Hmm, mm, that is odd. Not only should Ishima have been unable to get his hands on the seeds, but he had no way of knowing who you were. Ah. Uh. Huh. In other words, some person who knew about me joined forces with Ishima Rutu in order to meddle in your affairs. What? No, only one of the gods in the capital would be capable of that. Someone who would have no qualms deceiving you in order to sabotage me. Or in other words, someone who wishes to sell discord in the capital. Considering their objectives, whoever it is must be beyond nefarious. That must mean they intend to rebel against Lady Kamuhitsuki. Speaking of which, something is strange about Ishimaru's forces as well. What do you mean? All the demons on this island are armed. At first, I attributed the entire plot to the war-crazed Ishimaru. I had thought that perhaps even demons could create crude armor and blades in order to do so. However, Ishimaru himself used a number of cannons. I may not be an expert on smithing, but do demons have the intelligence to create such sophisticated devices? Yes, I cannot imagine demons being capable of even forging a cannon, let alone refining, preserving, and handling gunpowder. Even in the capital, there are few gods capable of such a feat, which means 
Our enemy may be closer than we expect. For the time being, let us report this to Lady Kamuhitsuki just in case. Now that the poisoned rice plot has failed and Ishimaru has the fin defeated, we cannot foresee when they will make their next move. If this mastermind retreats into the shadows once more, we shall be in for a long and drawn out battle indeed. Cool stuff. The plot seems to be developing. Um, where's Taoimon? Taoimon. I wanted to get him to so I can build the house, but I can't find him. Yes, yeah, so I guess that means I have to sleep. But then that means my cucumbers might. I make something. Yeah, my cucumbers might disappear. It's annoying. Very annoying. Let's make some soup stock. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to buy some new cucumbers. So I'll have to buy five more cucumbers. And then, yeah. Certainly. Okay, and then I guess I'll just let the current cucumbers rot. Spoil. Let's keep on doing this. And then medicinal base. I thought the cucumbers would actually spoil, but it doesn't seem like it actually spoiled. Okay, let's make that house. I have all the materials for the house. Acknowledge, let the reconstruction begin. We did it! A new house. Everyone worked so hard. We. I am happy. The copper pulled their weight as well. Uh, qua. Make with the cucumbers already. See? You hit the bullseye there. Uh, I knew this would happen, so I prepared a veritable mountain of cucumbers. Oh, right. Alright, everyone, come inside. It's time to feast. Indeed. We have rebuilt all the buildings, and we have a multitude of farming tools at our disposal. Okay. Indeed, I was being put to lose my mother's house, but I find an expected joy in being surrounded by brand new things. <laughs> You will hear no argument from me on that point. As a growing princess, it is your job to change out the old for the new. The grah. What is the matter? Did that upset you? No, I humbly apologize. I suddenly could not contain my emotions. Ah, so those were happy tears then. You scared the living daylights out of me. At any rate, our reconstruction efforts have drawn to a close. Let's prioritize new developments from here on out. Is there anything else you desire or hope to achieve? Something that you desire, gracious, I am already fully satisfied. Mm. What admirable selflessness. I apologize, but Did anyone perhaps hear something like the growling of a bear just now? Oh, that was nothing. Yeah, no heed, more importantly. Is that so? I see. In that case, why don't we try building a water mill? Conceptually, the mechanism is rather simple. If we make the most of everyone's current skill set, I think we could build one. <laughs> A water mill, you say? That will make life so much easier. It will... Uh, wait, what does a water mill... What, what, uh, remind me what a water mill does again. Um, stop. The pity in your eyes is disquiet. The water mill serves a variety of purposes by harnessing the power of water to spin a wheel. 
Hmm, naturally I am still completely lost. Essentially it is a water power device that will polish or pound the rice as we sleep. As we sleep. Yes, as we sleep. We're making it. We're making it right this minute, Kokora. What do you require? Uh, well, I'll put a list. You're very talented at motivating the princess. No, you give me far too much credit. Lady Sakuna motivated herself. Wood, bamboo, and spring water. Hey, I already have that. Nice. Alright, time to put the wheel on. Move ho. Ho. Now, Lady Sakura, what will you have this watermill do? Let it pound some wheat so that we may feast on udon noodles. You can now choose the watermill when hulling. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, it kind of feels like a lot of things are pretty much like automated now. Wait, there's a water wheel here too? Or is this where I... Oh, this is the one. Oh, that's the water wheel. Okay, is there any difference between this and the old house? Oh, by the way, Kokoroa, how has Koshi Oborosuki put out any new works in the capital? Poof. Absolutely not. N no, and I'm not certain on this, but I think perhaps she is no longer writing books. But Aww. what a cruel twist of fate. Her books were my favorite form of amusement. Um, I'm well... sure there are plenty of other excellent books in the capital. Never-ending love stories have been out of vogue recently, haven't they? And manuscripts are rather pricey, so... Aww. See, that is truly unfortunate. I've always been fond of Koshi Oboruzuki. I even brought one of her books to the island. You like her work that much? I know that every author must hang up their hat eventually, but I wish she would continue writing for just a while longer. Yes, yes I'm sure if she knew she had fans as devoted as you, she would take up her writing brush again. Right. Indeed, and I shall continue to show my appreciation of, for her work far and wide. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Hmm. Okay, um, I do want to see if I can make any new weapons. Want me to make something? Okay, I need two stainless steel and... Oh, there's so much stuff to grind for. Okay, now, is there a new map? Oh, there is. Presence of a new specter. Nice. Okay, let's head there. Oh, what the heck's this?
So where is the... Oh. Nice, I picked up something. Okay, is, does this one have the Elder Elm as well? Nope. Okay, that means I don't have to try and explore this place as thoroughly as possible. Good stuff. Let's use the steel mallet. Health powder, that's nice. Powder, that's also good. Okay. Ah! <laughs> 
medicinal base. Okay, so it seems like these areas are all about giving me like the best of the best uh, rice materials. Uh, kind of like a final power up before the final boss or something. Wow. I, I wasn't expecting to drop all the way to the bottom. I missed the chest there. Damn it. Well, whatever. Um, at least I can get my gusto back. Oh yeah, did it kill enough? I don't think so. Need a hundred. I forgot what this boss was. Oh, dragon. Keep your guard steady and your resolve firm. It is stronger than before. <laughs> Truly be the, the blade, blade of Hoshidama? That is undoubtedly my other half, the blade of Hoshitama. I had thought it lost in the battle with Omizuchi long ago. It must have been corrupted by this island's negative energy and possessed by the Homizumi. But I should have been able to sense the presence of my other half. Yes, perhaps. No, assuredly. If we use this blade to fix you, then you won't disappear, even if you become a farm tool? Must part someday, somber though the thought may be. 
but that time has yet to come. That is enough for me. <laughs> Yo, welcome back. Ah, splendid timing. I have a commission for you. Ugh, what is that noise? Princess! This is all because of my inexperience. I'm so sorry. I was so focused on creating something better than Pops' sword. But everything's got a limit. Huh. Unexpectedly profound words for a squirt like you. Quiet, you. Didn't you want me to make you something? Ah, yes. Using this edge of Hoshidama, in fact. To put it simply, this is Tama himself. A special sword made of astral metal. Could you melt this down and use it to smith the strongest farm tool ever made? Will Tama be okay if I do that? Worry not. If you use both the hilt and the blade, my soul will be preserved. Huh. Okay, I'll do it. It felt kind of stifled before, but now that I know I've still got a long ways to go, I'm happier than ever. Getting to rework the sword spirit who taught me that is an honor too great for me. This saccharine sweet dribble is quickly following my mood. Will I wake tomorrow to find swine soaring in the skies beyond my window? Shut up, you bogus deadbeat of a goddess! Give me that sword already! <laughs> Oh, nice. New weapons. 150 damage. Not bad. 285 damage? Well, that's amazing. Why would I need any other weapon? This is so good. These weapons are great. Sacrificing HP recovery? Does this mean- does this include the health bonus that you get from defeating enemies? I guess I'll find out.
eat something? Eat something? Wait. I just realized I think I forgot to put in my gusto. No. Okay. I have to do that the next morning with a uh, powder of transformation. That's what I do. This is... Kinta, is that you, Kinta? I know that voice, you're the hitmark from that temple, huh? It's been quite some time, my boy. You're a lot less uh, physical than I remembered. Did that rickety old body finally give her and send you to the lefty realm? Oh, or from another perspective, the fact that you have a body implies that you remain alive despite being here. That is good. I was greatly concerned that you might have drawn your final breath in some forsaken gutter. Now then, would you humor an old man and explain why you ran away from the Aww. temple? You know, it's not that we have problems with being put to work. If that's all it was, we wouldn't have made from the hills. But we got sick of being knocked around by these so-called monks. Uh, those so-called monks every dang day. They roughed us up real good. And then we get lectured every night about being grateful for it all. I know you tried to do the right uh, do right by us, but we couldn't stand being preached by the same monks who would turn around and hit us. So we cut our losses and ran. We ran and ran and did anything to survive. How shameful. I must have been blind to overlook such corruption in my temple. I am so, so sorry, Kinta. Truly, I beg your forgiveness. That temple needed enough people to contend with the warring world beyond its walls. Had we not strengthened our hearts and bodies, we would have been unable to defend our holy sanctum. Such was the cruel age we lived in. The temple was the final sanctuary for the people of that land. We had to fortify it at any cost. I relied on our good name to parley with the strong. Now any prestige we once held is as dust in the wind. But what merit is there in strength without integrity? My, my indiscretion jeopardized the safety of the children in my care. How terribly ironic. Kinta, do you hate me? Of course I do. It's not just you though. I hate everyone in the lowly realm. The foreigners who torched my village, that my sad excuse of a father who couldn't protect my mother or sister, and myself too. Oh, Kinta, my dear Kinta, listen. What? The mist's getting thicker. Whoa. Is that a dream? I don't know what. You cross the floating bridge of heaven in your dreams, huh? What a mysterious tale. Tama, is that sort of thing possible? Oh. Uh, at the moment, we do not truly understand what the floating bridge of heaven or is or how it functions. We cannot say with certainty, with certainty that it is possible, but neither can I deem it completely impossible. Could you possibly be any more vague? Hmm. However, if you speak true, Kinta, your wish to see that monk again may very well be granted. With the right tools, you can use the Lofty Realm's Ascension Technique to call upon souls who have recently departed from the Lowly Realm. If we require special tools, then I suppose it fails to me to gather the materials. Time to depart. Be quick about it, Princess. If too much time passes, the soul may be reborn into a god. Oh, we can produce more items. Yes. Ingredients from the West, which means we may be able to make dishes from Murphy's country. Oh, I'm happy. Fatanyag food, actually very good. Actually, she says to you, your past failure still trouble you after so long. <laughs> yes, I embarrassed. Uh, uh -huh. All right, then you must clear your name with a truly splendid dish once you gather the right okay. ingredients. Okay. Eat a traditional Ventania meal. Oh, I can get... Why is it called maize? Isn't it corn? Potato and onions are western food? Cheese. Okay. 
Okay, cool stuff. Indeed. The past has been fully restored at last. For a time, I was mired in the depths of sorrow, unsure of what would happen. Yes, we've come far indeed, but... Does that mountain concern you? Can't see. It poses a legitimate dilemma and is an eyesore besides. The ash is nothing to be concerned about. We've prepared enough mats to cover all the fields for when it next erupts. Huh, I suppose giving up is the only way to only sure way to fail, huh? Still, is there nothing else we can do? Hmm, that is a good question. Ah, Lady Sakuna, why not organize a festival in order to lift our own spirits? Huh? A festival, you say? Yes. Festivals are the best medicine for gloomy spirits. It occurs to me that we have never paid you tribute for your role as our harvest goddess, Lady Sakuna. The past has been restored to its former glory, so now is the perfect time. I've heard everything. Makoroa. Yes. That is a fascinating idea. I will do what I can to aid you as well. Oh, with your help. Uh, your help will prove invaluable. Let us call upon our fellow gods from the capital and make it a grand event. I am sure many of them will pitch in and honor the goddess who created the revered ears. Hey. Hold on a moment, can gods honor other gods? Well, we do honor Lady Kamuhitsuki every year, I suppose it's fine then. Yes, whether god or human, we are all capable of expressing gratitude. All you have to do is enjoy yourself, Sakuna. Lady Kokoroa speaks true. We will officially begin preparing for the festival as soon as you give the rest the word, Lady Sakuna. Once the festival begins, you cannot return. We recommend you make your preparations and separate, create a separate save style before proceeding. Oh, the festival is like the, the end game. I will create a separate save file here just to make sure right away. Um, while I continue to try and figure out other stuff. Like releasing my gusto. I want to make sure I'm full power before I actually attack the uh, final boss. But I need to figure out how to clear out that... Wait, are these ducks eating my... This? They better not be eating my rice. Overgrown rice blight. No... Okay, I want to clear out my gusto as soon as possible, so I'm going to put in some amber. Go out with gusto, powder of transformation, and I don't think I'm going to be getting another cycle in. But just in case I do, I'm going to dump in some metal ores, and then just clear out with toxic. Yep, toxicity, boop, spread, boop. Okay, now I have gusto. The only thing I'm missing now is magic. Okay, I'm gonna let it absorb stuff. Uh, while I continue to ask them to go around and gather those potions. I go now. I'm heading out. Okay, I just need to really figure out why I can't get this one. Like, why are there still these portal things here? I don't understand this part. Shouldn't I be able to go through it super easily?
Is there anything secret that I haven't found in this area? Wait, maybe I have to reach the exit in 120 seconds. That's maybe that's the way to unlock it. Okay, speed run time. I think that's probably it cuz I've never actually gone through this super fast, so maybe that's how I need to do this. confirm that this does not let me drain health even when I kill stuff so this is not worth using because it's too dangerous um no longer flinch when taking damage while attacking this is actually gonna be pretty useful Okay, so I exited the... Finished the mission in 120 seconds. Do I get to go through this? Still not? Oh. I don't understand this little barrier. Okay, I really can't figure this out. There's something here that is fishy, but I can't find out. Like, the, the, the Kitsune mask is scanning something here, so there's definitely something in this area, which is not normal.
Okay, I don't know. Well, uh, I'm gonna head back to home and uh, test out the new hulling thing with the water wheel. And then I'll probably just kind of grind out some stuff and then go for the final mission once I'm done with gathering everything. Oh yeah, I think it's time to let them go because it's done. And I don't think there's any bugs left. So I can start harvesting. No, my cucumbers. It's raining. Where's Tauimon? Here he is. I'm gonna pray for his son. Well, I wanna talk about rice, pray for dryness, sunny. I accept. Okay. for this meal this is it's so refreshing outside oh there's a bunch of water still soaked I'll let some water out of the field Okay, I just kind of want to get to the water wheel, so I'm going to be fast forwarding as soon as possible because I want to see the water wheel in action. I'm assuming it's going to be. Wow, how come I only got two beast tubes for this? I haven't come here. In a while. It's weird. Okay, let's go to the Earth Grotto. Should be much better than that last one. Yeah, so much better. I have managed to return. Whoa, tons of powder. Nice. <laughs> Plenty dry. Does that mean it's good enough to... Or maybe I should just continue Eat to something? sleep. Let's use something that's cheaper. Um, let's start over and just have water. Because I don't really plan on doing anything, so... 
everyone gets water today. What? Tech is already dumplings? No, I had water. Fullness minus 10. Nice. Okay, dried. Let's move this to freshing. I love the freshing machine. Is the temperature high or low? High. Okay, I guess I should put some fertilizer in. Uh, but I'm supposed to do the hulling when it's like cool temperature or something. Otherwise, it doesn't turn out as well. So I have to wait for that. But, uh, let's have this, because it's a little bit of everything. Uh, this one is gonna rot, so I'm gonna just put on all the stuff that's gonna rot. Okay, It says Helen. Do I not come here for Helen? Oh, no, no. I have to go over there for Helen. Use the water mill. In only half a day, in about half a day, it will become pristine white rice. Okay, so I just basically I don't have to care about it. Nice. Okay, let's have another day of water. Now this is efficiency, like I'm not even close to being like low on food, but I'm just eating water because I don't have no need for it to be like anything better. It's white rice, nice. Hulling complete. Aesthetic stickiness, hardness, 999 rice acquired. Is that the maximum? Because if it is, I might have to start increasing the quality of the rice. Because I can't get any extra yield anymore. It does look like that's the cap. So I'm kind of wasting it if I... Oh, it's overripe? Does that mean I had it for too long? Ooh, tons of issues. Okay, it does seem like my rice is way too... Like, I should probably f start filtering out more. So 
so that makes sense. Uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna quickly fast forward two more days because I can. And then I'm gonna show off like the cow tilling. And that'd be oh, I just realized Tom is different. He's like not as colorful anymore. Tiny snowflakes are dancing in the air. Okay, let's just fast forward to the tilling. Change menu. Gratitude for this meal. Okay, time to begin cultivation. So it's time for sorting. Uh, I'm still going to be using mud because the yield's much higher. Okay. Quality is still not as good as I thought it would be. I don't need that much harvest side, so I guess I'll go Finley. And then time to use the cow. So the cow's tilling is actually pretty amazing. You don't have to do any like pressing square or anything like that. You just kind of like walk around and it tills the entire ground, which is amazing and much faster than doing it normally. And it still crushes all the rocks, so it's not like you have to do any preparatory work ahead of time. It's just so much faster. That's it, and then the processes are all basically the same after that. So, uh, I'm gonna be grinding a bit more stuff before the final boss, and then if anything special happens, I'll probably make a, another video on that. But otherwise, the next part will probably be when I decide to go and hold that festival, and then it'll be to the end of the game. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.